Today's Morning Minute, Kingdom Living, Depth of Love. And we read in Matthew chapter 5, verse 43 to 48. You've heard that it was said, love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I tell you, I tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, that you may be sons of your Father in heaven. He causes his Son to rise on the evil and the good and sends rain on the righteous and the unrighteous. If you love those who love you, what reward will you get? Are not even the tax collectors doing that? And if you greet only your brothers, what are you doing more than others? Do not even pagans do that? Be perfect, be perfect, be perfect. Therefore, as your heavenly Father is perfect. It's easy to love those who love and care and affirm you. Even terrorists and mafia members love those who love and affirm and value them. Jesus has called us to an agape love of our enemy. This love is in Christ, the hope of glory living in you. The enemy wants us to only associate with those who love and affirm us. We have no impact in the kingdom of God if we're just singing to the choir. Can you love someone who hates you? Can you love someone who is cursing you with insults? Can you love someone who has a different political party, a different way of thinking, a different color of skin, different religions, different backgrounds, different appearance, and different language? Can you love someone who's taking you to court? Can you love someone who's divorcing you? Can you love someone who just fired you? Can you love the people who are protesting against our government? Can you love people who are not in your group? Can you love someone who has hurt you deeply? Can you love someone who has smeared your reputation? Yes, yes, you can love your enemy. Greater is he, he who is in you, than he who is in the world. God has given you a spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. He has not given you a spirit of fear, a fear of those who hate you. His redemptive, forgiving love softens the the hard heart of man. Your identity is in Christ. Your identity is not based upon having others love you. Your new position is in Christ. The old nature is gone. You're a new restored creation in Christ Jesus. Your essence is in Christ, not in your old Adam nature. You've been restored back to, to your original design and purpose. Your new nature is in Christ Jesus, is filled with God's love living in you through the Holy Spirit. Receiving God's love gives you a peace which transcends all understanding. Knowing your identity in Christ breaks the bondage of hatred and instills love, peace, and forgiveness in your heart. Go show, go show you're a child of God by loving those who do not love you. Amen and amen.